Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Sandbox Run. We're going to be looking at Automa Chef yet again. So we've um, done a few levels of this, we want to do a few more. And we're going to be... So we stopped at Doubling Down. I let's, um, let's do street food and let's also do the Burger Frenzy. Actually, let's just do these, um, these three. Let's see, see how it goes. So this is the part where we start getting introduced to new recipes. And this one's this part's actually not part of the demo. It's um the it's the one level after it. I actually did a video on this before, then I realized the music is way too loud, so here I'm I'm doing this again. And okay, so we now have a new dish. Actually we have two new dishes now. And this is where they basically start introducing us to new um to new um new equipment, so First up, packing machine. We need this for fries. And actually, I'll, I'll show you how fries are assembled. First, we gotta fry them. Actually, let's, um, let's do the setup really quick here. Actually, I wish there was a tutorial for this. I, sh I should actually try this out um, off, off camera so that I know how to use it. So far, I've never had to use it, so it's not, not been an issue. I actually want to find a way to uh, to just use to just use one um, food processor for all of these. After all, the, chi the chicken's grilled already, so that's actually kind of safe. And yeah, there is a way to do that. Fryer is only there for for potatoes, and we can we can just have it turn on when it actually needs it. Packaging machine only on when it needs it. So we so we got that out. Right now we have to look at the on our grilled chicken setup. Basically, we need to grill two pieces of bread. Crispy strip, bacon strip. So basically, it's one in and three out. So the setup would look like this. We have one setup that beats everything, and three setups that that bring things out. Now, toasted bread and the bacon strips don't need to go through the don't need to go through the food processor. The only thing that needs to go through the food processor is the chicken. Chicken milk comes out on the left side. We have a dog chicken milk out here. So, that's what we need to so we need to dump out here. We're going to have our chicken go through here. We're going to have our cheese go through here. So we got so we got that figured out. 
might be able to just make a cheese dispenser here. But let's set it up for now. If the, if the setup is so simple, why do we have a storage bin? Well, the thing, well, the one thing to consider is that grilled chicken. Each of the ingredients takes quite a while to come out. Grilled chicken takes the longest. I could, I could cut down the cooking time actually. Test the setup without the. We need to set them in order. Either. This order reader here. So the nice thing about this is every. Um, all the systems are more or less independent. We just we just have one. Sorry, no, no, no. 
Try this optional one. This is supposedly the harder one. Apparently, this one introduces a food frenzy. Oh, no, no, this doesn't. Ooh, this is the this is the key part. Basically, your power usage has to be very. Speed eating. Oh, we have a time limit. So here's the thing, um, we're feeding 50 burgers in 2 minutes, manufacturing time for a burger is 5 seconds, this doesn't include, um, tr that's just assembly, we still have to travel this, so we're gonna have to do a double burger setup. expensive but oh yeah there's also a power limit so we can exactly just double everything Manufacturing speed. Nope, that's the other way around. So, four seconds. 
50 orders in 4 seconds because we only have 120 seconds to do everything so we still have to, so we still have to um, have a double setup so I'm just going to test this one to see if, the, if this will meet our power requirements or not I can We also don't have the storage bin available. We have a food probe, but we don't need it. There is another way. If this is fast enough, one burger patty will pack. Um, these will end up alternating burger patties. If I don't change the speed here, no, it won't. Because um, the, the, the dispense time on here is too slow. If we add the high speed dispenser, we have spoilers for what's available, but the high speed dispenser would solve that problem. So we're gonna try a double. Yeah, so again, we're gonna try the double setup. Is there a way to make it. Is there a way to simplify this? I'm very sure there is. But I'm. But so I, I'm pretty sure I could have made this I could have made the setup so it's just feeding off one grill, but the time the time allotment is what's killing us. In fact, I'm gonna let's test this out. Power usage. Yeah, so wait, so this one's just feeding all the orders at once. Actually, we have we have we have some uh, we have an uh, we have a time allowance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a third feeder. So that means this layout is correct, but I have to I have to space this down by one. We're able to save by also um, avoiding conveyors when, when where we don't need it. So we're gonna we're within budget now. this we have we have an energy limit so oh we don't have order readers we can make it on the time so I'm going I'm going to increase the time 
by once. Actually, okay, the burger buns don't need a lot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the time on the burger buns. Since that so that we we, we save on a few ingredients that way. We're gonna keep doing this. Slightly less efficient, but um, we, we made the requirement here, so that's so so we got that one done. Yeah, so that's the solution. Six seconds, barely within the energy capacity. We didn't waste we didn't waste ingredients. Not bad. We solved that one. That was, that was this is a very interesting solution. Yeah, basically, it's this one makes you think of um, very um, very interesting things. So we now get to. One level I haven't tried out, so this will probably be the last level. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you when you have to feed Matt Stoney. But let's let's be honest. <clears throat> at, at, um, he he may be a competitive eater, but at least he knows how to eat decent food. So I don't think the I don't think the automated stuff is gonna cut it. So it looks like everything we have to serve now has cheese. So cheese, bacon, fries. Mm. Yeah, looks like a, looks like our robot overlord is um. <laughs> Yeah, so, it's been, so this is where we start encountering Russian wars and new recipes. So simple hot dog, but you have to introduce grated cheese. <clears throat> the bacon fries also use grated cheese, so this is it's actually going to be a bit complicated setup. Okay, first let's do the hot dog setup. We'll try to introduce the cheese later. We will need two. So we need um, two food processors. This one that needs only one. We need we need a grill for these. We need a grill for all three. So let's so let's set need that one there. So we need a grill, a fry mat, two food processors. We'll also need an assembly. Bacon fries is a packaging machine. So we need a packaging machine and two assemblers. So this is this is probably the best. So this is probably the most complex setup. We'll have the cheese we'll have the cheeseburger down here and the cheesy dog here because we the rate the cheese goes up and goes up this way also. And this one becomes bacon fries. Wait, hold on. This one can feed here. Yeah, this one has to be la laid out like this. Okay, there you go. So we need an arm. We need an arm to feed out here. An arm to feed right out here. And an arm to feed this way. <clears throat> So the grill is the most complicated setup because this has to feed because this has to feed three different ways. So definitely the bacon pie goes through here, the cheese goes here, the cheeseburger goes here. 
Frymatic. <clears throat> okay, that's the easy one. We put this all the way up here. So I'm gonna do a long setup. I already have the food processor. I'm gonna do the long setup here because we need the food processor. We need smart arms to pull items out. And then feed them to a then feed them to this conveyor belt. Actually, we can just feed it to this one. So it's grated cheese that can be picked up here or picked up here. So yeah, we need to have it go this way. So this way, so this one can pick up its cheese slices. This one can, this one can pick up grated cheese when it comes out. Yeah, it's only the grated cheese that needs the the, the double food pro. And serious, we also need to have a smart arm for potato wedges. Okay, so this is the cheese slice. Okay, let's move this here for now. We will need the con we will need the conveyor belt because we're gonna. S this is gonna feed two two dispensers. So cheese. Cheese and potato. Yeah. So I'm gonna slow down the potato because the cheese is probably the one that's gonna be overloaded. So what will happen is this will pick up potato slices, the potato wedges, feed it to the right. So this, so this conveyor belt here has to slow down. Both of these have to slow down. Technically, we could, yeah, we could skip that line and just feed it straight here. There you go. That's a bit more efficient. So this has to slow down to uh, two. This one has to slow down to at least a three. And then this will pick up a uh, cheese slice. We'll use the we'll use the order in machine tech to give instructions for that. I want to be able to move this closer, but let's technically what I can, yeah, because we need space to dump our other ingredients here as well. So this one's gonna get smart. This one's gonna get a dumb arm. Fried potato wedges goes here. So when this goes through the grater, yeah, I'm gonna need another smart arm to pick to pick up and dump here. And cheese. So this has to slow down also. Okay, so I, then we need something then we need something to fry the bacon. So let, let's do the bacon setup first. So there's actually multiple ingredients here. Feet being fed by one arm. to the right. Okay, because this one needs takes cheese, this one also takes hot dog buns. Bacon strips have bacon strips have to go up here. So this is actually too close. I need to I need to increase my setup length by one. Bacon arm. 
This one still needs cheese, but we can yeah, we can feed it up to a line here. Hmm, this one's a, okay. This one's a bit curious because we need to feed cheese to this line also. Yeah, because their bacon gets fed to this line. I could I could just increase the space. <clears throat> Let's give ourselves a little more room. So this means... Okay, grate the cheese goes here. We can have... Hmm. Yeah, because this one gets picked up straight here. Bacon goes straight up here. No, I... I need this I need I need the primary to go this way. No 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 wait, I think we can do it. It's... Okay, problem okay my, my basic problem right now is just a burger bun. Okay, this goes out here. I could have it dump straight here. Oh wait, there you go. Oh wait, no, because I need bacon to feed up to here. This one's just plain. Okay, wait. This one's just hot dog and cheese. So I just. Okay, what if. Okay, first. So basically, this dumps here. All of this has to dump it into an arc. So this one dumps here. Okay. Yeah, it's working with conveyors. That's a. Uh... So this one can't be straight anymore. It actually has to go to the right. This one's still hot dog buns. This one's basically we need a dump. We need a dump. So the smart arm has to feed to a dump arm. Not a very graceful solution, but all things considered, this is kind of how we need it to be. So let's double check. Bacon will go straight here. Cheese will go here and here. Hot dog goes straight here. So this is the one that needs to slow down. This one can slow, this one can be back to full speed ahead. This one has to also slow down. Okay, cheese slices. Oh yikes. This one has to go a long way around. Alternately I can have it feed through this way, but uh, that's a stretch. Machines like this, could I just let's just change that? There you go. So so cheese goes only this way instead. Patties goes down here. It's literally just a it's literally just a long line, but we we kinda have to do it this way. Then, yeah, red dispenser. Well, the interesting thing is the cheese is gonna is gonna be dispensed for all three different ingredients, so I'm going to set up an order reader for everything. Thankfully, it's just one cheese for each order, so... And we need that one to work. Okay, that's... That's for the cheese. Now we need for the fries. So, the potato dispenser dispenses one. Then... Bacon dispenses one. 
then let's see, is there any part that needs to take cheese away? No, this one takes away for the cheese dog, so this one is so this one's in the clear. So you can set the packaging machine to only be on when the order's pending. Same with the food. Let's put that machine. Next we got another order here. This one is gonna be for the cheesy dog. So one hot dog bun. each time it will pick up grated cheese so we'll dump it in here i'm going to slow this down even further just to be on the safe side so, yeah, that should be it for that should be it for the cheese dog and then the last order reader is for the cheese burger so this so this performs one action and there's a pending order this dispenses one so my only concern is that um a lot some orders might get really delayed because uh, because of multiple actions that there is an advanced order reader it can say like a perform action when this order is on the top of the line that's actually a lot better but there we got our order machines ready Again, the layout is a bit of a mess. Let's okay, let's try running a blueprint first. Cheese dog is the one that's um, kind of complicated. Oh yeah, and I can also so the cheese slice goes through. Grated cheese comes through. Hot dog comes through. That picks it up. It's not too long, so we're kind of good there. Now let's see. We got that tested out. Let's test out. Uh, okay, cheeseburger. We need to test out see if this will pick up the cheese slice. This one will definitely pick up the fries. Yeah, so I guess the setup's good. Kind of uses it. Kind of uses a bit of space. Okay, this one might need to slow down. Actually, that said, if it misses one slice, what will happen? Oh, it stopped. Good thing I saw it. Good thing, good thing we opted to test that out first. I'm gonna put this down here just to clear this space up for no particular reason. Right should be okay. This one's at speed 2. This one's at speed 3. Basically, you want anything that needs to be picked up, you want it to slow down at that point. Everything else can go as fast as they want. So I guess we're ready to start. So right now we're testing out basic... Oh wait, I forgot. Let's see. This is our burger reader. Yeah, we can kill this. We can kill that assembler. And this one... Unfortunately, you have to click on... You have to see it in order to see what's being assembled. So now we'll tie this to the this assembler also. So here we're gonna save some power that way. I suppose. I suppose um this cheese grater we can. Yeah, we can also have this turn off while there's no power. Yeah. There you go. It should save us. So let's see how we're doing. Okay, got our cheese dog on. Cheese burger to go. So it looks like several cheeseburger orders are being made. So I'm going, I'm going to slow this down to a two. So apparently that arm is not fast enough. So it's uh. Okay, hold on. Now, 
now it's now it's too efficient. Yari, Yari, I really need to have that um set up. So fine, I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay with some misses. Because this machine is co-opting all of these orders. Hold on. Okay, this speeds down here, so I can actually skip this one here. Yeah, this one's co-opting too much. I can set the speed tree. I kind of want to waste a few ingredients to have this dispensable. Oh, we're actually very close to our limit, so you know, if we could cut some of these. You know, squeezing it this way, yeah, it doesn't save that much space. Yeah, and I need to have just some cross setup. Wait. Okay, we can save some space. So what happens is... Yeah, this grated cheese is being picked up for this one here. Okay, let's save some space right now. And this one is... Yeah, the cheesy dog. Yeah, I promise, um, if we could recolor the lines, that will be really great. I set this up because of the bacon. We end up squeezing more space this way, and we save on some ener and we save on energy too. Yeah, we, there's a little savings this way. So this one has to pick up for the cheese dog. This one comes here. Okay, and this, oh, we're gonna start the run again. Bacon fries are really good, or, or seem, seem to be a problem here. Oh wait. Oh. Oh, so Oh wait. Yeah. Moving it around 
I need to have to rejigger the arms. Kinda wish there's a way to see Yeah, I kinda wish there's a way to see it, but yeah, you have to click so the UI could be a lot more useful at a glance. It is very clean. it's a very clean UI. Slice out that's I'm um, cutting the setup here. Yeah, this one has to be up here. And I need this one to go through the first one. If I could have it go through the second, if I could put this earlier, I can have it go through the second one. I don't think it saves any more space. So once again, we're always having problem bringing in the bacon. facing system I needed to go up. Okay. Yikes, that means hmm. crammed it quite a bit, but we s yeah, because this will go south. This also everything here goes south. This one's correct already. This one's the one that Changing it up doesn't change much. Yeah, I need to change the fact that this has to go up here and everything has to go down here. Ah, oh, this is going this is a real problem here. I could just increase the space by just just move everything by one. Problem just becomes the cost of our equipment. Let's see how much is it. How much is a dispenser? It's two thousand. Wouldn't I just be better off having a second having a second dispenser just for the cheese? Because how much? Think of it. How much are these conveyor belts? Two fifty. Okay. Maybe, okay. The second dispenser is probably more expensive. I'm cutting it quite close though. What's happening here is okay these have to go down because this feeds downwards this needs to feed upward okay that spacing is enough Seventy nine thousand. so this feeds up this feeds down problem is this cheese here this needs to feed here This has to default upwards. So that way, grated cheese comes up here. Now I need. Okay, this sends bacon here. Now I need a way to get grated cheese over here. Wait, no, no, no. Then bacon. 
think it goes up here. Oh no, it doesn't go up here. This, this one, because this sends it down. Wait. Let's move this order reader here. So this needs to pick up an empty point. So we need to move everything down by one space. This can be a tree. Yeah, so this sends it down here. So that's it. Because, yeah, grate the cheese needs to go up. Cost is the same on, on either of these cases. <sighs> Here, that's it. That actually simplifies it. Here, this actually simplifies it. So this can maybe. So there's a little savings there. I'm concerned that because of the slowdown here, this will end up picking up all the cheese slices. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a, a shot. of ingredients basically orders were coming out too slow yeah our efficiency was really bad hmm. we're close to an hour at this point I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one I'm gonna try one solution so if that doesn't work then we're probably gonna revisit this one so we our bog down is literally because of cheese okay so Considering the possibility of an in, of an independent um, feeder, but we also need to bring down costs. Now we know that we don't need this line if we feed the cheese directly here. Smart arms also. It costs the same as a food processor. Yeah, the pro problem is we, lo we, we lose orders this way. I'm increasing the speed here. Again, we're probably gonna. Maybe that might solve the ingredients issue, but the problem is I think we're losing too many. So now we're losing the cheese with all this set. Yep, no, that this, this setup here does not work. So I'm gonna save, I'm just gonna save this for now. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you guys can come up with a with an alternate solution to this, um, maybe you can let me know in the comments how how would you how would you do this? 
And well, that's it for this run for now. And yeah, just let me know how. Basically, this setup here is kind of right. It's this setup here that's all sorts of wrong. I think we have way too many conveyors. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna sleep on this one. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Check out my other content as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope to see you again next time. And thank you and God bless.